Hi there, let's talk about nervous system. So this time, with what we want to know about the different parts of the nervous system and as well as uh, how does it work, let us see. Now, when it comes to how living things respond, there are different ways on how they respond according to the stimulus present in their surroundings. Like humans, even plants, they do respond to different stimulus. So, in nervous system, remember that there are some parts that work together in order to make the system work. So, have you ever asked how could you walk on a beam without losing your balance? And how about this one? Why is it that when you touch something hot, you pull your hand away even before you even think about it? How does it work? Why is it like that? Living things have systems that control, even regulate, and even coordinate body processes. And all living things are really constantly faced with the situation of adjusting to their changing environment. So the body system that controls other parts of the body is our nervous system. So what is this nervous system? It is the one that receives signals or stimuli from the inside and outside of our body. Like when there are so many stimulus or there is stimulus that is present, it is a kind of a factor that provokes the interest, enthusiasm or excitement to human if we are going to talk about human. So these are stimulus. That makes us make us respond to it. Response is the reaction. So if there's a stimulus, there's a response. It is the reaction of the organism, let's say human, or any part of its body to that particular stimulus. It may be pain, it may be feelings like happiness, sadness, and so on. The nervous system receives stimuli and after processing them, gives directions to various parts of your body to coordinate and uh, coordinate the responses. So what are those different parts? Let's have the first one, call it the neuron or the nerve cell. The function of the nerve cell, yes, it's a functional unit of our nervous system. And the nerve cell composed of different parts also, as you can see here in the picture. Let's have the dendrites here. This is these are the dendrites. They are short and highly branched part that receive information from a receptor organ or another neuron. So therefore, this particular part is called the cell body. As you can see, dendrites and then the cell body. It is also called as the soma or the side because it contains nucleus, mitochondria, and other cellular organelles like an ordinary cell of the body. Aside from that, there is an axon connected to the cell body, as you can see here in this picture. It is long and less branch part compared to dendrites that uh, conducts the information away from the cell body you will see here in the uh, arrow presented by this so what are the different types of neurons now that we know the uh, different parts such as the dendrite cell body and of course the axon here what are the different types of neurons first we have the sensory neurons Typically, they have long or they have long dendrites in axon, as you can see here. And aside from that, it carries messages from the receptor organs, such as the skin, the eyes, the nose, ears, and the tongue. So it is the one that collects all those uh, messages from the different body parts and then send it to the main organ of our nervous system. The nerve centers are the brain, 
in the spinal cord. They are considered to be the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord. Aside from sensory neurons, we also have the motor neurons. So motor neurons are the one who receives information from the nerve centers and transmits it to the effector organs such as our muscles and our glands. So from the name itself, motor, something to do with movement. Interneurons are found only in the central nervous system, such as the brain and the spinal cord. So therefore, we're done with the different types of neurons. What about the different types of the nervous system? First, we have the central nervous system. It is the one that controls and coordinates the activities of the whole nervous system. It composes of our brain and our spinal cord. Second is the peripheral nervous system. It contains all the nerves outside the brain and the spinal cord. So remember, when we say central nervous system, it composes of the brain and the spinal cord and um, peripheral nervous system contains all the nerves outside the brain and the spinal cords or spinal cord. There is this kind of somatic nervous system that includes all the nerves controlling the muscular system and external sensory receptors. It is the one that regulates the activities that are under conscious control, such as the muscle movement. Sense organs are the receptors. Muscles and glands are the effectors. Every time you lift your fingers or even wiggle your toes, you are using your modern, modern neurons of the somatic nervous system. Many nerves within this system are parts of the automatic responses. They are called reflexes. So what is or what are reflexes? When you touch a hot object, the receptors in the skin are stimulated. Therefore, you are somewhat going to move away your hand from that and we call it res reflexes. The sensory neurons carry the impulse to the spinal cord and a group of interneurons in the spinal cord automatically activates the motor neurons, removing your hand from the source of heat. So that is how it works or that is how this, um, our system, our nervous system works when it comes to carrying the impulse and then acting on that particular or we call it reflex, yes, particular stimulus. The motor neurons cause the muscles, the effectors, in your hand to contract, pulling your hand away from the hot object without reaching your brain. So even without reaching your brain, your muscle will automatically move away uh, your hand unconsciously to the source of stimuli. The reflex arc is an automatic involuntary reaction to a stimulus. Second, RD is the automatic nervous system. It consists of motor neurons that control internal organs. It is the one that regulates the activities that are automatic or involuntary. And this is not under your conscious control. So therefore, 
those are the um, the learnings that you have to review about the uh, nervous system and i hope you learned something from it thank you very much for listening bye bye